Hey, I'm Robert from the Perceptive Pixel team here at Microsoft. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about use cases for using Perceptive Pixel in your environment. Um, generally, we break these use cases up into two kind of categories. One is around personal use and things you might like to bring your own content to and your own computer to so that you can deliver more of a personalized experience. The other one is more of a room-based scenario where you're comfortable walking into a room in a, in a persona that's already set up to be able to use without any customization uh, for things like whiteboarding and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you through a couple of those scenarios as a few ex as examples to help you get started on how to use Perceptive Pixel. So within these scenarios, one of the ones we're going to talk on today is visualizing data. Visualizing data is a great one for exposing things like business intelligent dashboards where you can drill down into some very deep information presented in a nice crisp visual uh, fashion. Really good for sales meetings, quarterly business reviews, uh, executive board meetings, planning sessions and those sort of things. And the style that comes with that is really kind of unique and where you're really interacting very deeply with the data and with the people that you're, uh, you're in your meeting with. Um, the technique that goes with it really allows you to manipulate and remix some of the content in ways that are meaningful and gives you the flexibility to answer questions and show some of the results of those questions. Um, as we talk through that, there's a number of different tools that are available and work really well in a perceptive pixel environment. We have some of those examples here. Some of those solutions may be from Microsoft using Excel and some of our Power BI uh, components that go with that, and some of those may be partner driven. I'll give you an example of a partner application that shows really well in this type of large screen experience. This is DataZen. DataZen is, as we talked about, just very simply a high level dashboard that's built on either static information or real time information. And it allows you to get in and start doing things and presenting information in a very interactive way uh, and in a very meaningful way. Next, we're going to talk about more of a room based scenario where I can walk into a room and start a meeting very simply. Typically we see situation rooms or war rooms with our customers where they're doing such things as strategic decision making, product planning, uh, design reviews and those sort of things. And again, the style of this really is all about taking you from an analog based process where you use a lot of paper, whether it's putting paper on the walls uh, and so on and so forth, brings in remote participants into the scenario and gives you some, some real advantages in digitizing that process. And there's a number of tools as well that go with this. One of the ones I'll show you here is, uh, is an example is us using uh, 3D modeling and the ability on a perceptive pixel to in manipulate that data and do some very um, strategic things with it, as well as getting in and maybe making some annotations to that and saving that information in a digital format to make it available after the meeting and help you carry momentum through that. So these are all examples of uh, different things we can do in Perceptive Pixel and from a use case standpoint. And to help you get more information on that, we've created a use case catalog that has the couple that I've talked to you today about, plus many more. It also includes some other additional videos for you, so be sure to hit the download link and access the use case catalog. Again, I'm Robert Henry from the Perceptive Pixel team here at Microsoft, and thanks for watching.